Hello and welcome back to part 16 of this series on Gatsby.js. If you've made it this far, well done. We're almost there. There's just a little bit left to finish and finalize this app. So in this last, in, in this, in the last video, rather, we created the pagination links, uh, that we can click and uh, navigate around the pages of our, uh, blog posts. So in this video, we're going to tackle the team page. Uh, we're going to populate this page with our authors and we're going to as well create uh, pages where we can see uh, authors posts, just like tags where we can see posts by uh, that have one tag. We're going to have uh, author posts, which is uh, going to show us the posts just by one author. So let's jump into the code. Let's maximize this, stop the develop development server, and let's commit our changes from the last video. So git add and git commit. Uh, let's say added pagination links. And let's press enter and we're done. Okay. So let's start by going to the teams team page and the title should be our team. Uh, same as the page title and here we're gonna I'm gonna hard code this since we only have two authors uh, you can come up with a way where you can just loop through the authors and uh, and uh, dynamically uh, put out their information I'm just gonna do this like uh, the, the old way for now so we're gonna have a row um, actually we're gonna have a row for the image so this will be, um, this will actually, it's going to have a margin because, um, otherwise they're going to be, uh, linked together because row by default doesn't have a margin. So let's give this an MB4 and inside of this, um, I'm going to have a dot call dot MD. I'm not going to use call. I'm just going to use, um, traditional bootstrap class names and here. I'm going to have image with the source, which we haven't brought in yet, uh, John image. So we're starting with John and later we'll do Jane. And this image will have an inline style of max with 100% because if we don't give this, if we go to a really small screen, this image will be bigger than the div that contains it, which is not cool. Uh, let's give this an alternate of, uh, uh, John profile. Let's close this tag and uh, let's actually bring in a couple of things. Let's bring in, let's bring in authors. So, um, authors from go back one level to util, util slash authors. And um, let's bring in, let's bring in a couple of things from React Strap. We're gonna use cards. So, card. Uh, card um, text, uh, oops, uh, card body, card title. Um, I'm gonna have buttons, so button, and let's do from React Strap. Um, I'm gonna need the images for our authors, so import John image from dot dot uh, images slash john dot jpeg so same thing for jane that would be um, here which place jane but here it's like lower lowercase jane j we're gonna need slugify so slugify from um, dot dot util slash utility functions and oh the row um let's bring in the row it's gonna go here row button goes before card and uh, yeah okay let's finish let's finish this so after after this div actually we're gonna have a div so um uh, we're gonna have a div of eight, so call dash md 
dash eight. And inside of here, we're gonna have a card. This is gonna have as well an inline style of, um, we're gonna give it a minimum height of 100%. And let's close this card. Inside of here, we're gonna have a card body as per usual. Do we bring in card body? Yes, we did card body. And we're gonna have a card title. And that will give, uh, that will have the uh, John's name, so authors, um, authors zero, like I said, this is gonna be hard coded name. And we're gonna have the bio as card text. And it's going to be authors zero, oops, zero dot bio. And now we need the button that uh, takes us to the author page, which we haven't created yet. Uh, this button is going to have, actually it doesn't have a class, it's going to have a color of primary. And it's gonna have an href of um, slash author slash uh, slugify slugify our um, authors zero dot name, which is just John. Could have hard coded this actually and just wrote John dash uh, doe, but let's just do that, view, uh, it's gonna say view posts, I should just give it a class of text uppercase, class name text uppercase, like the rest of our buttons in our, um, in our application, and let's copy all of this, let's paste it, and do the same for Jane, so this is gonna be Jane, Jane image, uh, this is going to be authors one, one, and one. I uh, think this should be fine. So let's save and run Gatsby develop. Let's see what this page looks like. This item actually should be Jane profile. Save. Once it's done building, we're going to we're gonna check out this page and see what it looks like. Actually, um, mm, we have a problem. Cannot resolve Jane.jpg because from images. Yes, okay. Uh, if we go to team, there we go. We get John Doe and Jane Doe, the picture facing the div, and we click it on John Doe, it goes to slash author slash John Doe. Same thing for Jane. Now we need to create these pages where we can see the posts by these authors. So let's do that. Uh, before we create that template, or let's just create the file. So let's call this uh, author dash posts dot JavaScript JS. Let's go to node. Let's copy this and paste it and let's call this author posts and this goes to author dash posts dot um dot js and here at the bottom uh, after this create actually after this loop uh, we're gonna do did we did we bring in authors here yes we did so oops so here we're gonna do authors dot for each and for each author author we are gonna create a page create page just gonna have a path of uh, backticks um, slash author like we actually put in the team page and then we're gonna slugify the name of the author uh, author dot name and takes a component which we just brought in templates dot um, author posts and it's gonna take a context 
and this will have the author name um, author name so author dot name and it's gonna have image URL um, author dot uh, image um, image URL and uh, the reason why is that we want to have a page like like the post pages so we're gonna have the uh, the details of the author in the sidebar and as well the posts they posted so we're gonna use this name to fetch the the posts that this author posted and we're gonna use the image URL to fetch their image so let's go to um, uh, this new template that we just created and let's bring in a couple of things so react from react uh, layout from one level back components slash layout we need to bring in post import post from one level back components slash post we need to bring in graphql from graphql from gatsby and import like this and we need authors import authors from go back one level util slash authors and let's do const author um, posts equals it's gonna from the props we're gonna get data from our query and page context which we passed in node.js I mean node um, Gatsby node and let's export that export default oops, default um, authors posts and let's export the query export const um, what do we call this author query it doesn't really matter but uh, let's just name it something that we can remember something that makes sense because that's always good practice clean code so query I don't have to give this a name so let's do author it takes author name what is it author name yeah author name we passed which is a string and an image URL again dollar sign like PHP if you've used that before string exclamation mark to uh, indicate that this is required the query will fetch from all markdown remark and we're gonna sort by fields and the field will be front matter triple underscore not name date um, we're gonna give an order of descending and we need a filter as well so filter and we're gonna filter property inside of front matter and that property is the author and it needs to be equal to author name and that's how we get the um, posts posted only by this author so after that those parentheses let's get total count because we need to show that edges inside of that we get our node inside of that we get our id and then front matter the usual stuff really title um date format string to this um or not no parentheses colon and let's do m m m m do y y y y uh the author the tags um the image thumbnail image child image sharp and get the fluid inside of that max width of 650 and we spread Gatsby um, image sharp fluid and outside of the front matter we need fields we need to get slug from fields a glug slug and we need to get except 
now accept that's spell that correctly accept yes now we're not done here we need another query on top of this so it's gonna be yes here and we need to get the image of the author so let's do file and this will take a relative um, relative path and this would be equal uh, equal to image URL which we passed from um, from node Gatsby node and we'll take the child image sharp property and inside of that the fluid we'll pass that max width of uh, 300 and we'll get Gatsby image sharp fluid from there and we're done with the query so let's populate the page itself here we're gonna have let's pull out the total count so con, uh, const rather total count uh, from I mean equal means from data dot all all markdown remark all markdown remark yes because we have more than one post so all markdown remark and um, we need to get the author so const author equals authors we could have passed the whole object but it's fine we can just find it again so find x where x dot name equals um, page uh, context dot uh, author name and we, now we have our author let's form our page header so which is the title page header equals uh, literal literal template string or whatever backticks <laughs> total counts total count uh, and then we do posts by I'm not gonna bother with the s thing so even if it's one it's okay one post <laughs> uh, you can just copy the code from the other uh, from the text page if you wish to do that page context dot author name so it's gonna be like I don't know five posts by Jane Doe 15 posts by John Doe uh, so on and so forth so return layout and we're gonna pass the title which is the page header and because we want to show uh, the image of the thing of the author we're gonna uh, pass post author I know it's called post author but it doesn't really matter it's just gonna show it doesn't say post author it's just gonna show the author details uh, so the naming doesn't really uh, it's not a, it's not a problem as long as we understand what this signifies so um, author image fluid will be uh, data dot file dot um, child image uh, sharp dot fluid and let's close this layout I don't know why it's behaving like that but it's okay and inside the layout we're gonna loop through the post so data dot um, all markdown remark dot edges Dot map and from each edge we're gonna get the node and for each node we're gonna return a post to bring yeah bro post so key let's just copy this from here it's the same thing really let's go back here so post so yeah the key the slug the title the author the date the body, the tags, the fluid. Cool. So we should be done. Let's stop the server, let's save all the files, and let's start the server again. And this should now, when we click on view posts in the team page, we should see the posts for um, our respective authors. And did we not did we not export this authors? author posts yep let's go again and it compiles and if we go to team we go to John Doe we, and there we go we get two posts by John Doe and 
there they are and if we click on uh, view posts from Jane Doe we get one post by Jane Doe one posts just pretend this doesn't have an S <laughs> and we get the, the details on the side and there we go so we are pretty much we are done not pretty much we are done with the application uh, we finished all the, the functionality and uh, yeah so this is everything I hope you guys learned a lot. I hope you really like Gatsby and like my tutorials, of course. Why wouldn't you? They're amazing. And um, please like and subscribe. That would mean the world to me. And any criticism, feedback, praise, uh, commentary, error, problem, anything you feel like saying, uh, feel free to uh, comment in the comment section. And uh, by the way, I'm going to do one more video after this one that's going to be uh, deploying this. So uh, we're going to deploy this uh, live on a service called Netlify, which is really, really cool. And it's so much easier than you think. It's going to be easy. We're going to deploy it and it's going to be live on the Internet for other people to see. So look forward to that as well. And uh, yeah, uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next and final video in this series. Bye.